driving the ultimate supercar, the Lamborghini flagship, 1,000 horsepower, 0 to 62 in 2.5 seconds, over 200 miles an hour. This is the stuff dreams are made of. Dreaming, please. I've got places to be. Look, I'm, uh, I'm going to have to call you back. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there in about 10 minutes. Yeah, all right, I'll see you there. Sorry, love, I was just, um... Where are we headed again? It's on the app, love. Now hurry up, I'm dreadfully late. Speaking of dreadful, why is it you taxis all drive these same disgusting hybrids? Wouldn't it hurt to have a little more ambition in life, now would it? I wouldn't, not hybrids. They're kind of reliable, you get good fuel economy. It's not so much about the journey in these, it's about the destination, right? As long as they get you where you want to go. I do hear you though. I'm trying to save up a bit of cash to upgrade. It's just that money's a bit tight right now. Yes, I saw your bumper sticker. May I suggest you're not just out of money, you're actually out of your mind. That's what tips are for though, right? <laughs> Am I right? Hey, um, do you mind me asking, uh, what do you do for a living? Listen, I've had a long day and to be frank, I don't really think we've got that much in common to talk about. Well, you seem to know a lot about cars. Yes, one of us has taste. I actually know a fair bit about cars, I'm in the industry. It's just that I need to... Yeah, what you need to do is just keep your eyes on the road and get me to my destination. Do you want to listen to the radio? Nope. Here you are, love. I think this is it. <laughs> Thank you. Hope your day goes better. Forgot your lottery ticket. Keep it. You need it more than I do. Keep dreaming, lad. That's it for the news. Now it's time to make someone very happy with today's lottery results. This week's numbers are 7, 17. 39, 41, 45, and 51. If that wasn't you, then... Yo, I love it. Play more tracks so they can hear. Yo, I love it. They born that. The vibe's clear, so I love it. No going back, just hit the gear, tro. I love it. Ain't no cap, we off the ledge. Yo, I love it. Play more tracks so they can hear. Yo, I love it. They born that. The vibe's clear, so I love it. No going back, just hit the gear, tro. I love it. Upgrades, baby. Come on! From one hybrid to another, this Lamborghini Revuelto is the perfect car for the aspiring taxi driver who wants to upgrade but still keep good economy, low emissions and all at a decent price tag if you've won the lottery and you don't want to give up your day job. Okay, the Prius is great, but it's getting on a bit. Let's face it, it came out, what, in 1999? And back then, it was pretty decent. Although, it did kind of feel a bit like a gimmick to begin with. 
The original Prius used a 1.8 litre Atkinson cycle petrol engine and a tiny 4.4 kilowatt hour battery pack. And the Revuoto doesn't actually stray too far from that recipe. Under the bonnet is a 6.5 litre naturally aspirated V12, classic Lambo. And like the Prius, it also has electric motors, three of them. Fast forward, what, 28 years? And it feels like hybrid technology has really come of age. And who would have thought that hybrid tech would serve as the beating heart of Lamborghini's V12 flagship? Despite being a hybrid and despite having batteries and an electric motor, the Prius actually couldn't run in electric only mode. But that's where the Revuelto is different. This is a plug-in hybrid, which means it can run on electricity alone. And that means all new ways of taking the mickey. The Revuelto's battery is only tiny, just 3.8 kilowatt hours, or about 3.8% of the Tesla's. But that gave me the idea of charging it like a Tesla. Although that isn't quite as straightforward as it seems. The supercharger's connector is a DC CCS2 and the Revuelto's charge port is a Type 2. Even with an adapter, I couldn't quite make it work. So in the end, I just fired up the V12 and used that to charge the battery. What are you looking at? I've never seen an electric Lamborghini taxi a supercharger before. I'm just trying to stop oil. It's orange. Oh. First job in the new taxi. And it's just around the corner. Bosh. Now you can drive it in EV mode. Apparently I've got 6.2 miles of EV range. And I worked out that the average taxi trip in the UK is 2.6 miles. I could do three trips basically for free using just the battery. Tenner a trip maybe, that's what, 30 quid a day for nothing. The car pays for itself. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna fire up the V12 and enjoy this car as God intended. If you're conscious about reducing your carbon footprint, the Revuelto is also a lot better than its predecessor. In total, it spits out 275 grams per kilometer. The Aventador spats out around 442. Both are in the same tax bracket, but it's slightly less bad news for Mother Nature. Unfortunately, the news for my next fare wasn't very good at all. Oh no! Balls. Better call this customer. Oh, hello mate, how you doing? Yeah, listen, mate, there's a road closure, so... Don't mean to be like precious or anything, but I've got places to be because you, you probably know me already. I'm quite a big, big name actually. So if you just let me know where you are. Mate, literally, I'm on your road. Oh, you're that close? Oh, awesome. What, what I can do is I can probably just walk over to you. You might be right. No, 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 no. Don't walk. Customer service is important in my industry, yeah? I'm coming to you, fam, trust me. So. Diversion should be what, two, three minutes? I'll see you there in a couple. Okay, cool, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll just wait here a couple of minutes, yeah. All right, thanks. All right, bye. All right, all right, bye, 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 bye. I've got to say, for a V12 flagship, this thing is buttery smooth. If you've ever driven an Aventador, you will know how much of an animal that car is, but the suspension in the Revuelto is just so plush. The seats are a little bit on the firm side and there isn't much headroom, but honestly, this is lovely. It does come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and apparently a 750 watt stereo system, although that is a little bit pants. But still, you got a V12, although I can't actually rev it to show off. In the Aventador, you could pull both the paddles at the same time, drop it into neutral, and just rev the V12. I have terrified so many children in my life by doing that. But in the Revuelto, you pull the paddles, it goes into neutral, and then you push the accelerator, and you just get a load of just beeps. That's disappointing. It is quite easy to get distracted in this car, though. The steering wheel is full of buttons. I kid you not, there are around 50 buttons 
on the steering wheel that let you control various drive modes, indicator, media playback. Do you know what, honestly? You could get lost in this. Balls. I knew I was meant to be doing something. You all right, mate? Hello, mate, yes, yeah, it's, it's Alex again. Yeah, 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 I'm still stuck. Where, whereabouts are you? I'm not gonna lie, there was some traffic. Right, yeah, traffic. Sure, sure. Relax. Please, just come on, mate. Just get on with it. Well, customer's always right. Is what we were waiting for, wasn't it? Time to make the V12 sing! I was actually quite worried that all this hybrid stuff would spoil the character of Lambo's flagship V12, but no way. It's still an absolute animal. It's not quite as characterful as an Aventador, Nowhere near as many pops and crackles and bangs. But it still sounds like an absolute beast. Wow. And it is stupid quick. Top speed, 217 miles an hour. So same as the Aventador, but it's quicker from a standstill. 0 to 62, now in 2.5 seconds. That's three tenths quicker. And I can hear all the Tesla bros giving it all that. The Model S Plaid is quicker. But trust me, this feels way more dramatic. Plus it revs to nine and a half thousand RPM. That's more than a Porsche 911 GT3 RS. And it has twice as many cylinders. And twice as much power. The gearbox is a revelation. Gone is the single clutch robotized manual and in comes an eight-speed transverse dual clutch box bolted behind the engine rather than in front of it. The old gearbox was, quite frankly, terrible. Really slow and clunky at low speeds and at high speeds it absolutely slapped. It was very violent. This, in contrast, is extremely smooth at low speeds. But guess what? When you're doing high speeds and you shift near the red line, you still get an absolute smack in the back. You even get the back end stepping out a little bit. It is quite terrifying. It's almost like Lamborghini wanted to give us the best of both worlds and they have absolutely nailed this box, let me tell you. The steering is extremely light, maybe too light. I can go around corners with a pinky finger. Look at that. Honestly, it's a bit unnerving how light it is. Ferraris are light, but they're fast more than anything. This is fast and extremely light. And then you've got the rear wheel steering, which means that any slight input feels like the car is trying to make extremely big maneuvers and you have to be on top of your game to catch it. You've got to drive this thing with surgical precision. Otherwise, well, I don't want to say it things could go wrong very, very quickly. The Revuelto is actually heavier than the Aventador by around 200 kilograms, but it doesn't actually feel it. It feels surprisingly up on its toes, and part of that is probably down to the fact that it's got torque vectoring, not just by braking, but by applying torque to the outside front wheel just to help the car get turned in. It feels surprisingly agile. In fact, it feels a little bit hyper downsides there are 14 different drive modes in this car and frankly it's a bit unnecessary if you find yourself in the wrong drive mode for example strada and suddenly feel the urge to accelerate hard then you're not going to get the full thousand odd horsepower in that mode you find yourself having to adjust modes by turning this left knob into something a bit more aggressive like corsa and then this right knob into performance before it gives you what you want and by then the moment might have passed but forget all that, this is a monster of a thing. It's proven that Lamborghini can combine 
old school ferocity with brand new technology in a package that essentially redefines what's possible with a supercar. This, incredible. It's one of those cars that you can't help but fall in love with. Everything from the looks to the driving experience is absolutely intoxicating. It's a car you can so easily get lost in. Usable every day, which is unusual for a Lamborghini, but also still an event on those occasions when you just want to get in and drive. With this, Lamborghini's taken things to a whole new level and redefined what's possible in a supercar using technology that most people would have thought would completely kill it off. If anything though, this just shows that electrification isn't just helping supercars stay alive, it's helping them thrive. It is, for me, the stuff dreams are made of. Hi, mate, listen, <laughs> sorry pal, Satnav took me on a mad detour. A detour, that's your excuse, is it? Unbelievable, you know what I'm gonna do, mate? I'm gonna cancel. No, hang on a second, pal. I am not having this. Actually, scrap that, I'm gonna give you one star, and you know what you can do with your stupid hybrid? Shove it up your ass! First of all, nothing wrong with hybrids. Second of all, I think it's about time you started showing me some respect around here. Do you know how much I have sacrificed? I have grafted. I have driven 300 miles to get to you. I know you were three miles away, but that's not my fault, is it? Listen, you start showing me... Hello? Son of a... There's just no pleasing some people, is there? Not gonna get many customers around here, am I? Anybody want a taxi? No? Good. What a day.